I have a Photoshop quick tip for you today. I'm going to show you how to use the black and white adjustment layer to fine tune your color images. I have three different examples. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I hope everyone is doing great. Today, I'm going to show you how we can use a black and white adjustment layer to fine tune the luminosity values of our colors and color images. It's a nice little trick and tip. So follow me closely. I have three different examples for you. Hey, by the way, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. That way you'll be notified each time I put up a new tutorial. And also please leave me comments and questions. I'd love to hear from you. Well, let's get started. First off, let's add a black and white adjustment layer. So let's come down to this icon and grab a black and white adjustment. Now that turns your image black and white and it has some default settings on it. But here's the trick and pay attention here. What you need to do is change this blend mode from normal down to luminosity and when you do your color comes back now let me shut this layer on and off here's the before and here's the after and already you see it's changed just a little wee bit but let me show you how you can really tweak the luminosity values of your colors with a black and white adjustment layer now normally we're using this adjustment for black and white conversions but check this out we have different colors broken down here reds yellows greens cyans blues and magentas and we have this little eyedropper tool that we can use too to target Target a certain color. For instance, if I click on this tool and click on these uh, red type colors in here and start to drag this to the left, see how I can darken those red colors. So you can use the eyedropper tool to pick colors, or the way I like to do it is I just start at the top. I'll work with my reds first. I'll move this to the right, move it to the left, just to see where, which way I want to go, and then I'll come back and retweak. Maybe something like that. Now let's work with the yellows and see what, what they're affecting and see how I can lighten up that fruit. Now, if you go too crazy, you're gonna mess it all up, so be careful here. But let's give it a little bit of lightness, maybe like that, and let's see if there's any greens in here. Sometimes there might be a little green cast and it'll affect your image in a certain way, which could be nice, but nothing happening in greens. Let's go to cyans. I know I have cyans here in these blueberries, so I can lighten up the light areas of these blueberries here. There's a lot of cyan in there. So let's lighten that up, and now let's work with blues. We can lighten blues up or darken blues. But I think I might lighten them up a little wee bit, maybe something like that. Now let's see if there's any magenta in here. And yes, there is in this fruit. I don't know what this fruit is, maybe some kind of an orange, but we can darken those tones. So maybe we'll, eh, maybe we'll just adjust it right like that. Let's take a look. Here is the before, and here is the after. But isn't that cool? We're able to adjust those luminosity values. And I might work with these yellows again a little bit right in here. Maybe I'll just lighten those up a tiny wee bit more. Here's the before and here's the after. Now let's move on to the next example. I have some flowers here. Now what if I wanted to just bring a little more contrast out here, work on the uh, reds in here, these pink tones, a little bit on the yellow and greens. And to save some time, I just went ahead and added the black and white adjustment layer, put it in the luminosity blend mode. Now I'm going to turn it on, but watch how the image changes when I turn it on. Okay, so it changes. I'm not saying that's a good change, but let's tweak it. Let's start with reds. I know I want to darken these pinky red type colors, so I'm going to darken those up. See how I can add that contrast in there? Pretty neat. And now what if I want to lighten these yellows? They're a little dark, so I'll lighten these yellows up a little wee bit. Maybe not too much. If you go too crazy, it's going to look really weird, so be careful. Maybe right around there. Now let's work on the greens. We can lighten the greens or we can darken them. If I darken them a little bit, we can add a little bit of extra contrast here, which I think I like that. Let's see, if is there any cyan in here? Yeah, there is a little bit of cyan. You got to be careful. It's adding lightness back here in this, whatever this is, some material back here. So you don't want to go too crazy there, but we can work with cyan. Even though we don't see cyan, there's some cyan in there. So I can lighten up those light areas back in there. And, you're ne and you never know what you're going to find until you move these sliders around. Blue, not much happening in the blue. A little bit, it's getting a little lighter down here, but I don't think I'm going to mess with that too much. Maybe right about there. I think I'll leave it like that. And let's see magenta. It's probably going to affect these reds here. Yes, it does. 
So I may just darken them up a little bit more just to add a little bit of extra contrast in here. Let's take a look. Here's the before and here's the after. If you went too far, you can take the opacity and pull it back and just add as much as you want. And then you can always, if you want to, I might just take it about 85%. Here's the before and here's the after. If you don't like this darkness on this bowl down here, you could go in your layer mask with black paint and paint over that and remove that effect. But here's the before and here's the after. So it's amazing what you can do with a black and white adjustment layer on a color image. Let's go on to the last example. And I like this image, a nice little landscape here. I like this road. I wish this road was a little darker. There's a little bit of haze up in here, and I think we can remove that with the black and white adjustment layer. So let's see what we can do. I have the black and white adjustment layer in the luminosity blend mode. Let's turn it on, and we see a slight change in the image. Let me shut it off. So there's before and the after. So it's uh, taking some of the light out of these trees. I'm gonna put that back, but first, Let's play around. I'm going to work on this road first. So I believe there's going to be some blue in here and maybe some cyan in on these trees. And what we're going to do is start there first. Let's start with cyan. I'm going to pull the cyan to the left. And you notice how I'm reducing that uh, haziness. Okay, so I'm going to pull it back to about here. And now let's work on our blues. And I believe it's going to darken this road up. And let's see what happens. Yeah, check that out. And it also darkens these trees up some more. Okay, I don't want to go too crazy here, but I'm trying to remove some of that mist. But isn't that cool? It's adding a lot more drama. Here's the before and here's the after. Now, I want to bring some lightness back to these uh, autumn trees. So let's start out with yellows and let's lighten up our yellows a little bit and bring some of that lightness back that we lost. Okay, maybe right around there. And let's work on reds. Do we want to lighten reds? No, I think I want to darken the reds. A little bit add a little more drama to this image and now I may lighten up the yellows a little bit more maybe like that now there's some green in here so let's go ahead and see if I take this green I can lighten those green tones but I don't want to draw our attention to them so let's just reduce them a little bit so I'm going to take that back a good bit almost the whole way back and let's see if there's any magenta in here there may be some magentas up in here so Let's see if we can lighten those. What happens? We can lighten them or we can darken them. I think I may darken them just a little wee bit. They're, they're pretty good where they are. But let's take a look now. And pay attention to this uh, pine tree right here. Look at the detail that we've brought back to it. Let me shut this off. Here's before and here's after. See how it looks a little more defined? But again, here is the before. And now here is the after, but a lot more drama. I love the way the road pulls us back into the scene. The black and white adjustment layer, I use it all the time and I wanted to share this tip with you today. And I bet you you're going to start using this adjustment on your color images. The black and white adjustment layer in the luminosity blend mode. That's the secret to making this work. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever used this technique before or if you've never used it and you're starting to use it, what you think of it or do you think this may be something that you can really use? I'd love to hear from you. Well, there it is, everyone. That was a Photoshop quick tip. Fine-tune color images with a black and white adjustment layer. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, Please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with yours truly, Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.